Hi PO5. Today our project is to make an octopus and do some octopus math. So we have two pages here. This is the octopus's body and over here you have his legs. And we remember from our The Ocean Story with Alan Baker, the octopus always has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. So we're going to put a leg under each of the numbers up here. It starts with one on this side and goes all the way up to the biggest number, which is eight. So let's cut out our octopus legs. Um, if your family wants to, you can draw the legs. It's pretty easy to make them actually. But they gave us some squiggly legs just in case you want to glue them on your paper. So let's get these eight legs cut out and then you can find something that you want to put on your octopus's legs. You can give him something like Cheerio or little bits of cereals and count down pieces down his legs. Or you can put on little art shiny sequins if you have any or you could use buttons or maybe just fingerprints on them. You could probably use goldfish crackers if you really want. There's lots of things you can use, but just something small that will fit on his legs and, and not um, stick out too far. And then we're going to give him just the amount that is on the number above his leg. Okay, so I've got about half of the legs cut out right here. I always clean up after myself and put my paper scraps in the trash. And here we have his other four legs. So here's the other half. I've had lots of practice cutting, but it's a good idea for you to take your time and be careful when you're following the lines and cutting out your octopus legs. And I've got some extra pieces. Those also go in the garbage can. Almost finished. I can see our octopus has water for his background to make a really pretty picture. They drew his face on with his nose and eyes and his mouth. Okay, so now that I've got all of his leg pieces, I will put some lines of glue just in the shape of this leg on the paper and stick this one under number one, another one under two, and so on just like that. And I'll show you when I finish sticking them on so you know where to put yours. And then we can start adding little things to his legs. One, two, three. Stick these guys on here. Okay, he's got more coming on. One, two, three, four, five more legs. Right by number four, by the number five, by the number six, by the number seven, and the number eight. Okay. And so now you can pick whatever you're going to use to put on your octopus's leg. See how they're all right underneath him? And here we're going to make one little circle or use one Cheerio or one of whatever you want to use, one button, one on that one. Now, do you see how many we're going to put underneath this number right here? Okay, so two, one, two circles. Here's number three, so we're going to put three on this leg, and then we're going to make four on the next leg. One, two, three, four. And here in the middle, we're going to make five objects. One, two, three, four, five. And then this one is number six, so we have to have a little more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you see how they're getting longer from over here down to there as there are bigger and bigger amounts of um, objects on his legs? 
Okay, here's number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And down here we're gonna have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's almost all the way to the bottom. And then you can color your octopus, decorate him. You can paint him if you have any paint and your mom and dad say it's okay. You could even make little bits of Play-Doh on his legs if you wanted to do that. That could be kind of fun. Thanks for making the octopus with me. I'll see you next time.